What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! FTC, the strongest, is finally August. We got some so fresh, so clean, clean, educational -ish. Hey, man. What y'all learn in school, man? Nothing. All right, so with that being said, we have something interesting that I am even interested in even hearing that out because you ever came across this insect named mosquito? What do they do with your damn blood when they fucking suck it? Don't clip shit. Pause. Whatever you want to say. All right, what are they gonna what, like? What do they do with your your blood, bro? We're gonna find that out as usual, man. School has started and it's live and in full effect. Administrators walk in and get the iPhones, the iPads, the Androids, the Lime Wires, the Pagers. You better hide them because I'm not responsible if they take them away. They're going to auction them off. Let's check it out. By Riddle. It's dark. Whoa! Holy May. fuck, what's with the damn creepy voice? In an almost pitch black summer night, your windows are open, a breeze is blowing, and a fiendish criminal is sneaking into your room. His plan is simple. To drink all the blood from your slumbering form. <laughs> Bro, why is he talking like this? He silently approaches you. His target preparing to take the first sip of that crimson elixir. When suddenly the lights are turned on, illuminating the room. You, his prey, have just woken up and glare straight into the eyes of this inhuman villain. But wait, it's just a mosquito, and he can't do this all alone. To drink all the blood from a human being, he's going to need some friends to help him out. The only question is, just how many friends does this diabolical mosquito need? Does the world even have enough mosquitoes to drain all of the blood from a single human being? That's creepy. First, there is. let's figure out what motivates these tiny, vampiric criminals. Mosquitoes often feed not only on blood, but also on water and nectar. But just as with humans, their lives radically change when a strong feeling of love appears. Female mosquitoes meet their soulmate just three days after being born. But on that note, their luck ends. Sadly, similar to what sometimes happens with humans, after this glorious night of love, the male flies away, and the female is forced to find food for herself and her future children on her own. And like any mother-to-be, she needs to supplement her diet with extra vitamins and trace elements. But more than anything else, she needs protein. Protein to help nourish her unborn offspring. It's here where human blood comes to the rescue. These future mothers drink human blood for one simple reason, the protein they derive from it. They digest our human blood for two to three days, whereupon they then lay their eggs in a convenient reservoir of water. The mother invests much in this endeavor, often even dying when giving birth. Remarkably, as it turns out, a single mosquito needs your blood only once in its entire life. And that is simply for the sake of her children. Interestingly, urban adapted mosquitoes don't need your blood at all. Really? This species has evolved for life in our cities and receives all of its vital nutrients from the water in the mosquitoes in Oregon basements. Is it difficult to imagine that these almost cute, seemingly oh, mosquitoes are only in little itself. creatures could drink all of the blood from a human being. Scientists at the University of Cincinnati say that you shouldn't drop your guard so fast. They discovered that mosquitoes desire and drink even more human blood if they are lacking in water. And according to the study, when the temperature goes above 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius, just say 77 i never understand that second more intensive nutrition related search operation becoming much more aggressive so during a drought we risk becoming victims of hordes of rabid and hostile pregnant mosquitoes certainly not a reassuring fact especially if we take recent global warming into account and what if the males also suddenly wanted human blood due to higher temperatures 
If that turned out to be the case, the possibility of dying from mosquitoes stealing all of our blood doesn't seem so far-fetched and crazy as before. Scientists at the University of California decided to check what would happen if male mosquitoes also drank human blood. They divided the males into three groups. The first group was given only sugar to eat. The second, sugar and blood. And the third, only blood. Those male mosquitoes eating the sweet sugar-only diet lived a happy and long mosquito life of 28 days. Oh, that's lit. The males who that's ate or drank a mixture of blood and sugar in They're drinking people's blood and sunsets for no longer than seven days. And those who drank only blood lived bright lives, but alas, even briefer, from but three to five days before their short lives winked out. So, our human blood will kill a male mosquito, but this doesn't mean he won't drink it. The same scientists continued with the experiment, this time giving the insects a choice blood or sugary sweet syrup half of them chose the blood so in the end 50 percent of male mosquitoes will still bite you just to get a taste of that red stuff they so crave oh man add in some Be careful out there pregnant Bug spray. and we'll have a real gang of thieves ready to drink every last drop of that sweet liquid pumping through your veins. <laughs> Bro, why and is he describing it like thieves this? Thieves and hooligans to fail in pursuit she said of thieves and hooligans. Loot. At least that is according to a team of researchers from the Pasteur Institute in Paris, who discovered just how much these malicious, bloodthirsty brutes are capable of. The main thing revealed by these Parisian scientists was the amazing flexibility of the mosquito's proboscis. That's the skin-piercing and blood-sucking mouth-like protuberance that extends from the mosquito's face. According to the researchers, the proboscis only happens to look hard and unbending like a needle. When the mosquito pierces your skin, it doesn't even know exactly where your blood vessels are located. The flexible proboscis is actually six separate thin, needle-like mouthparts, each of which pierces the skin, searching in your flesh, allowing these tiny vampires to prospect for blood until they finally hit pay dirt. And the tentacle-like organs at the end of this elastic needle don't leave you a single chance. You can be sure the mosquito will get what it wants sooner or later. And when it finally finds a blood vessel, it will literally feast on your protein-rich red juice for no less than an entire four minutes. But wait a second, are we really so inattentive that we cannot feel the foreign intrusion of this blood-sucking proboscis into our bodies for a whole 240 seconds? Well, yes. And this is due to the utter cunning and deviousness of these tiny bloodsuckers. Even at the first stage of just probing your skin, the mosquito plants its saliva in you. This prevents inflammation. And if there's no inflammation, there are no disturbing signals from your body to warn of this attack and penetration. Moreover, mosquito saliva huh? keeps blood vessels from constricting and blood from coagulating. What? So the blood just keeps on flowing at full steam. All of this turns a simple bite into a gala feast for this unholy, demonic insect. But again, we must ask, how long would it take for one of these thieves to suck out all of a person's blood well, that's down impossible. to the very last drop? According to one Dr. Daniel Landau from the University of Florida, an adult human being has on average about 1.5 gallons or 5.7 liters of blood Imagining a mosquito drinking so much at one go is difficult. Okay, yeah, it's impossible, obviously. But the trick is that these tiny bloodsuckers don't have to drink all of our blood in order to harm us. There's a good reason why doctors don't take more than 450 milliliters, or about 15 ounces of blood from donors. This is about 8 to 10% of the total volume of blood in our body and taking more gets into dangerous territory. According to the American College of Surgeons, if you lose 15% of your blood, 
you will begin to feel some negative side effects, such as a faster heartbeat, rapid breathing, and mild nausea. Vampires suck about this much blood from their victims if they plan on keeping them alive or turning them. At least that's what some students of physics from Leicester University say. They figure that if a vampire doesn't plan to kill a person, but simply wants to have a little bite, as it were, he'll need around six minutes for his snack. In this situation, it's important for the bloodsucker to feel satiated at 15%. As if a person loses, let's say, 20% of their blood, something called hemorrhagic shock begins. This is a condition in which, if it were you, your pulse would weaken considerably, your skin would turn deathly pale, and you would likely faint. And when 40% of your blood is lost, you die. Oh, Death no. from bleeding out comes very rapidly, even faster than from a vampire bite, literally in just four to five minutes. The cause may be due to an injury from an accident, being stabbed or cut with a knife, or from a mosquito bite. After all, if you remember, the duration of a bite is roughly four minutes. So the question is, how many mosquitoes need to start drinking at the same time to induce a fatal outcome? How many mosquitoes are needed to suck us to death? Actually, there are more than 3,500 different species of mosquitoes, and all of them come in different sizes, have diverse appetites, and diverse appetites, what? Distinctive temperaments. That so supposed to mean? let's suppose that you're not very lucky and you've stumbled upon the most aggressive and largest of all species, the Asian tiger mosquito. What? Its hungry females drink five microliters per bite. So for this species to drink all the blood from one average adult, 1,100,000 tiger mosquitoes will be required. It goes without saying, That's creepy. but I'll say it anyway, that it's really unlikely that such a cluster could be found in a single location. I hope that ever happens. On top of that, there isn't even enough space on a body for all these little bloodthirsty devils. On average, a person has about two square meters or 11 square feet of skin covering their body. So only about 6,300 of these bloodsuckers will be able to get landing rights. All the rest will have to line up. And really, have you ever seen a line of mosquitoes? Thus, in reality, the risk of dying from mass mosquito bite total blood is mosquito loss bit? is almost is non-existent. That? This is good news. The bad news is that you can die from a single bite from a single mosquito. It's little wonder then that scientists have included these insects on the list of the most dangerous creatures on Earth. Mosquitoes are carriers of malaria, yep. fever, and encephalitis. Every year, about 725,000 people die from the bites of infected mosquitoes. Wow, I didn't know it was that often, much. These victims are residents of cities with hot and humid climates. There, Dehydrated and hungry mosquitoes are especially cruel. Mm. But there's no need to panic. Not just yet. Yes, it's true that no one is entirely safe from a chance meeting with these notorious blood-sucking thieves. But the risks can be minimized. The Journal of the American Association for the Prevention of Mosquitoes has reported that the main way you attract mosquitoes to you is when there's too much carbon dioxide in and around your body. For example, if you exercise in the outdoors and sweat a lot, or if you drink beer on a hot summer day. To avoid becoming a victim of mosquitoes, simply apply special protective chemical agents yep. or even just eucalyptus oil. Mosquitoes what? Oil? really hate the stuff. Researchers claim that these simple preventive measures will discourage even the hungriest females from trying to bite you. So, take care of yourself and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey man, that's just a man. Come on, let's try to get